Another day, another grim milestone set in the United States. For the fifth time in nine days, the U.S. hit yet another daily record of new coronavirus cases, with at least five states in the South and West setting single-day records for new infections. The worrying spikes have done little to sway the Trump administration, however. After framing lockdown measures as harmful for the economy and confusing messaging around masks, the White House has made reopening schools its new battle, even threatening to take federal aid away from schools that refuse to reopen on schedule. It's not just about kids learning and not falling behind academically. It's about all the vital services that children receive at our schools. It's about working families. It's about opening up America again. After the administration criticized the Centers for Disease Control's guidelines for reopening schools, the organization announced it would issue new recommendations next week, though its director added the measures should not be used to justify keeping schools closed. Meanwhile, with stocks of medical supplies and protective equipment depleting rapidly in hospitals across the nation, officials in several states are pleading for federal assistance. Expanded testing and direct assistance for cities like ours that are stepping up and paying out of our pocket for these tests. Funding more local community health workers, real small business assistance, expanded benefits including unemployment, another cash payment for folks who are struggling, and aid for state and local government. Even as 36 states have shown an increase in coronavirus cases over the past two weeks, the president has refused to use federal powers to address the pandemic, largely leaving local officials to fend for themselves.